generation you are from will depend on how you accept change, adapt to change, or whether you even need to change at all. This leads me to a discussion on how we have to adapt change in corporate culture and how to adapt to this change to make us more efficient and productive in the construction industry. So the other key to unlocking the pathway to success in this ever-changing world is understanding how we change and adapt to communication. Communication, a much needed skill in the construction industry. I graduated from Purdue in 1978. The percent of women in the engineering workforce was 10%. 34 years later, according to the National Science Board's 2012 Engineering and Science Indicators, women only comprise 13%. And according to the National Association of Women in Construction, women only comprise 9% of the construction industry workforce. However, according to the U.S. Bureau of Statistics, the latest numbers from 2010 show that women make up 50.8% of our population. Given the critical need to repair and construct our nation's infrastructure, to me it is a very sad commentary to realize that we have made little progress. McKinsey in its 2011 report on unlocking the full potential of women in the U.S. economy stated that women have been a growing factor in the success of the United States economy since the 1970s. Indeed, the additional productive power of women entering the workforce from 1970 until today accounts for a quarter of the current GDP. Women bring skills that are critical to our collaborative projects, attracting and retaining talent such as we have out in this audience in this complex construction industry has to become a priority. In our complex and interdependent world, collaboration is increasingly required to produce solutions to meet our client expectations. Because innovation relies on diverse mindsets, engineering and construction companies must increase the diversity of their project teams. Leading and participating in collaborative teams, though, requires transformational leadership. Be a role model. Be supportive. We must not work against each other. We have to work with each other if we are truly to reap the full benefits of what a diverse team can offer in its creative solutions to the problems we now face. In doing so, we will need to continue to question others as well as ourselves. As Rudyard Kipling wrote in Just So Stories in 1902, I keep six honest men. They taught me all I knew. Their names are what and why and when and who and where.